that. Um, so thanks everybody for joining Illinois Squash Sunday Workouts. We've been doing these since the beginning of lockdown in April. Um, and we have by special request, Eddie, who was once the pro at University Club and all of our um, Instagram followers have requested you to be our coach for the day. So we're very excited for you to be um, back for us um, currently in Toledo, but um, we still love you and we hope you might come back at some point. Um, but yeah, we have a workout every Sunday and um, I'll hand it over um, to Eddie. And at the end, we always are also doing these workouts for Metro Squash. So support the community. If you can, we'd love it if you could make a donation, um, but we definitely just also want to see everyone's faces and come together. So I'll hand it over to you, Eddie. Thanks, Emily. Yeah, it's really, really obviously really nice to, to do it and see everyone in these little boxes, which seems to be sort of the new norm now. Meeting people in person is is so last year and this is sort of the, the way we do it now. So yeah, it's nice to be asked to do it and nice to see everyone. Um, I've done a few of these for the Toledo club members on the on their Facebook page and I find it really hard to strike the balance between it being a good workout but not killing everyone so hopefully I've had the practice for the last few weeks and this should be a good balance between it'll be hard and 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 everything else but it should be a little bit informative maybe we'll do some stuff on movement and and then also you'll get a good burn out of it so let's get started with just a little bit of a warm-up we're going to do um eight different exercises for roughly 40 seconds on and 20 seconds of rest. Um, so just follow me with this. We'll go very steadily through the warm up. It's not supposed to be super intense. Um, don't worry if you're, if you're at home and you don't have this play equipment, I will not be using that, I'm afraid. Um, so let's get started. The first one we're gonna do, all you kids will be used to doing this. I used to hammer you with these. Push up position and I'm just gonna take my right foot the outside of my right hand and then I'm going to return to the middle again. I'm going to do the same on the left. So left foot to the outside of my left hand and go again. I'm just going to start my timer. All right, let's do it. So nice and slow. If you can't get your foot right to the outside of the hand, don't worry. Bring it up just as far as feels comfortable. It's Sunday morning. It's early, so I'm not expecting people to be able to Throw the body around just yet. Let's try and get warmed up and then we'll throw our bodies around at the end. Now for the last 10 seconds, we'll just go slightly quicker. Okay, rest. It's so, now she's muted you all. It's so eerily quiet. It's, it's weird doing stuff like this when you feel like you're just talking to yourself. Right, next one, we're gonna do bridge thrust. So you can lie flat, and all I want you to do is try and pick your hips up nice and high, and drop your lower back down to the floor again. Pick your hips up, lower back down to the floor. Again, start off quite slowly, gradually, maybe go a little quicker. And if you wanna pick your toes up off the floor, let's just make sure that your hamstrings are activating and your, your glutes, your butt is activating. Try and really squeeze your glutes at the top and try and get that nice flat position at the top. No arching of the spine. Last five seconds. And rest. We're lucky we have this sort of like sunroom, which is where I currently am, but because the weather's not been great, it's absolutely freezing. So I feel like I'm dressed up to, to go, go out in the snow. Right, we're just gonna do a single leg hold. So you're gonna just go onto one leg and go halfway down into a squat and just hold here. So I'm not going super low, but I'm just activating my, my quad, but also again, that glute muscle, the butt. And it's okay if this one feels like it starts to burn. I'm just staying on one leg for now. We'll get back to the other side. Okay, change legs. We're just gonna do 30 seconds on each leg, change legs. If you're thinking this doesn't really get me, go lower. Really try and push the range. For me, this is more than enough. Because I'm... 
I'm inflexible and out of practice. Okay, last 10 seconds coming up. And we're going to get into some lunging in three, two, one. Okay, stand up tall. So from here, we're going to do a reverse crossover lunge. So I'm going to take my left leg, I'm going to take it back behind me and reach across to the side and sink down. Back to the middle and the same on the other side. And really try and reach that foot out to the side. Okay, here we go. Start off nice and slow. Really try and push the range, get that back knee almost to the floor. Then we'll gradually pick it up a little quicker. So with all of these exercises today, I think hopefully people will be able to do most, if not all. If you, if you need to tailor it or sit down and take a rest, grab a sip of water, obviously do so. Go at your own, your own pace and your own speed. Last one, and rest. Okay, great, next exercise. Oh nice, down the dog. So we're gonna throw in a couple of yoga poses. So down the dog, where I'm stretching my arms, I'm trying to reach my heels back to the floor, and then I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna take my right knee and try and bring it in between my hands. So if I show you from this angle, my knee is in line with my hands there. I'm just gonna sit here for just a couple of seconds and then kick back. Do the same on the other side. Left knee in between your hands and then kick back. So this is quite a good one. Just to get the backs of your legs mobile and warm, but then also your, your glutes and your hips in that half pigeon position should get a nice stretch. So a little quicker. Last two. Last one. And rest. Okay, some more hip stuff. Overs and unders. So I want you to imagine you've got a hurdle between your hip and knee height. And I want you to imagine you're going to reach up and step over the hurdle. And I want you to duck down and come under the hurdle to the right and then repeat to the left. So I'm going up and over and then I'm ducking down and under. Okay, good. And with each one, with each repetition, try and go a little higher over, a little lower, under. Really get those hips working. Okay, last two. Really reach up tall with your feet and then under. Up and over, and under. Rest. Nice. Okay, last one. So what we're going to do here, up tall on your tiptoes, and you're going to try and keep this feeling of hanging. When you're up on your tiptoes, you want to feel like you're hanging, and then you're going to drop into a lunge, drop into a lunge on the other side, drop into a squat. Okay, so we've got the lunge up, Lunge, up, squat. Okay, here we go. We're going to go a little quicker now. In two, one, so up, lunge, up, lunge, up, squat. Lunge, lunge, squat. Lunge, lunge, squat. Definitely starting to warm up now. Last 10 seconds, last five, rest, warm up, done, grab a drink, great work, hopefully you feel like you're starting to warm up, I know I am. Right, I'm even 
been warm enough to get the trousers off. I'm sorry, pants, you guys would say. Get the pants off. Right, so what I thought we'd do is to keep it squash specific, but also keep it that, so that it feels like there's always an end in sight, is do five, five blocks. So five blocks of different exercises trying to mimic a five game match. So the first two games will be the strength and strength endurance exercises and I'll explain them as we go. The third game will be more of a cardio sort of blast, a little bit longer repetitions. The fourth game will arguably be the toughest. That's just a really short, high intensity, two and a half minute circuit. And then the fifth game will finish with some core. So that'll be a nice, a nice way to finish. So game one, we're gonna be working on a movement pattern to the front two corners. So don't start yet. Let me just take you through what we're gonna do. And it's fine if you forget, I'll obviously be doing it with you, unfortunately. So the first one, we're imagining we're moving to the front two corners from the T. So the first exercise, all we're gonna do is alternate lunging into the front two corners. And vary which foot you use. So sometimes go open stance, sometimes more traditional with the closed stance. I'll tell you when to stop on that. When you stop, we're gonna go into a lunge hold. So with this, push it as much as you feel comfortable. For some of you, that will be enough. You'll feel a burn. For others, you might wanna really try and exaggerate that reaching feeling. Do that on one leg for 10 or 20 seconds. That on the other leg. Once you've done that first set, that'll start to burn. We'll then come back and we'll just do small little pulses on this side. And again, we'll do the same on the other. Okay, so as I said, don't worry if, you, if I've lost you there, don't worry, I will talk you through it. So the first one we're gonna do, 20 lunges, so 10 each side, I'll count as we go. Vary the leg you use, and we're gonna go on the forwards V pattern, so the diagonal. Here we go. One, if you wanna swing, two, to make it more realistic, three, then go for it. Four, change the shot that you're hitting. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nice. So again. Make sure you vary which leg you use and really try and think about what shot you're hitting. I know it's hard at the moment, we're not on court, but try and think, you know, am I hitting this ball hard? Am I hitting a cross score or a straight ball? Am I going in and playing a lob? In which case I need to get under it. Right, next exercise, this one's gonna burn. We'll use the right leg, so we'll go open stance, do a deep lunge and hold. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, oh yeah, eight, nine, ten. Stand up, shake it off. We're gonna use our left leg in this front backhand, so it's a more defensive position. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. Okay, so there are three different lunge patterns. We're gonna do that once more. Shake it off, get ready, we're gonna go again. Told you it was gonna burn a little bit. If it's burning, you're doing it properly. If it's not burning, go a little bit longer with your lunge and try and get lower. Right, first exercise, so we've got the lunges. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second, I forgot the pulses, didn't I? Nice try. Right, back to that right foot in the front right corner. We're just gonna pulse here. One, two, three, four, really small. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Rest. So I'm trying to pick that foot up just a tiny little bit off the floor and I'm trying to make my contact light, not too heavy. Okay, that left side. Here we go. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Rest, right. That is the three exercises done. Okay, good. As I said, it should burn. Really try and focus on the form. And with these first set of lunges, when we go back in, go a little bit slower. If you're thinking, God, I'm really feeling it. There's no point rushing. Try and keep good form. Try not to fold with your upper body. Try and sit down into your legs in these lunges. Right. Let's do it. One, two, straight drop, three, straight drop, four, perfect low, <laughs> five, six, I'll oh, hit the tin on that one, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, that was the no minutes boast, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, straight into the hold. Here we go, come on, big lunge. Hold that lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs. One, Two, three, four, really, really reach. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back out. Okay, the pulses. This should really be starting to fatigue now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whew. Change legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 19, 20. Rest. Drink. Game one. Done. You managed to grind it out. 12 10. Great work. So the next game. Unfortunately, it's going to be more of the same. So it's the same idea, but rather than us doing the front V, you guessed it, we're going to be doing the back V, so the back two corners. Grab a quick sip and then we're, we're going to go for it again. So the first one we're going to do is the lunges. But for this one, we're going to do all open stance. I think that's the best way to sort of practice so we're practicing that defensive movement. Doug, you'll be brilliant at this. The open movement to the back. So back, back hand, going to use left foot, reach back. And then from the T, right foot to the back forehand, assuming you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, exactly the same. You'll just obviously be swinging with the other hand. And again, try and be really, really purposeful. Think what shot you're hitting. I know it feels strange. We haven't got a racket or even a ball, but just trying to get those reps in to make them as purposeful as possible. Right. Lunges, 20, here we go. One, use that follow through to get me back to the T. Two, three, four, really use that follow through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, really use the follow through, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Great work, really try and, particularly with this back corner, exaggerate that follow through, pulling you back to the T. Right, the holds. Let's go back forehand first. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right work, shake it off. We've got the pulses coming. So back right, there's little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
To the middle. Oh, it's starting to it's starting to burn now. Done. Okay, that's one set. One to go. Great work. I'm gonna do exactly the same. And then the rest of the exercises from here on here on out are different. There won't be so, so much of a burn. The heart rate will get a little bit higher, but there won't be quite such a focus on muscular endurance. Right, here we go. Lunges to the back right and then to the back left. Here we go. Use that follow through to help you. It makes it easier. It makes the movement far more efficient. Three. Use your hips to come back out. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I missed one somewhere. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, here we go with the holds. Let's see if we can go a little wider than last time, a little lower than last time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Okay, other side, straight in. No rest for the wicket. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it hasn't frozen. Ten. Nice work. Okay, pulse is coming up. I definitely won't mess around with the pulses. This one hurts. Here we go. Now we go. Nice, change legs, reach back a little lower, a little further, a little lower, two, three. Ah, oh, rest, drink, game two, done. Woo. All right, let's maybe have a little bit longer a drink now. Emily, maybe you could turn the audio on so we can see see how people are finding it. People can unmute themselves if they want. Oh, perfect. You want me to unmute everyone? Sure. Okay. Let's see how it's going. Let's do it. 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 You're killing us, Eddie. Killing us, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. No chance. <laughs> now, Sajjan, maybe. Now, maybe. <laughs> oh. I'm just, I'm just watching. I'm just watching from the couch. <laughs> from the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Emma? She's here. She's around. Hey, Rob. How are you doing, Eddie? We're going to need an Emma. Open it up so I can see everything. Jill, I'll give her a shout maybe before game five. Just to give Barry a little boost. Gaurav, how are you finding it? How are you finding it? It's so easy. So easy. You're doing. You're doing. I need a haircut. I need a haircut. No. No. Aaron, where's Aaron gone? Where's Aaron gone? Amir, Kalat, how you doing? Kalat, how you doing? Good. Doing good. Amir is good. Amir is not doing good. Amir. Amir. All right. 
That's enough of a rash. Mute, enough of a rash. Again. Bill's already started Bill's to speak up there. I can see him. I can see him. Yeah. 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 Let's get back to it. Oh, Emily, can me, Emily, can you put me back on? on You're back the... on. Everybody's on mute. But you can unmute if you have questions or you want to taunt him. <laughs> <laughs> can you put me on big screen? Hey, Zach. Hey, Leslie. Zach, that beard's looking good. I can't hear Thanks. you, but the beard looks great. Thank you. Right. Game three coming up. I'm going to do um, just... It's a little bit of a more of a cardio class, so there'll be a little bit longer exercises, probably not quite as intense. It's just going to be about finding your own your own rhythm and trying to sustain it. Um, Emily, can you put me on on the big screen, or am I already on that? People, give us a thumbs up, but I think you're already on it. Thumbs oh. up for folks. You're okay. good. Thank you. Right, first exercise. We're going to do. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. So it'll be a little bit of a grind. First exercise is a high knee run. Here we go. Again, try and pace yourself. Don't go out too quick. This should get the heart rate back up. This is just like, you're back in a grind of a max. The rallies are just going on and on. It's like you're playing Ryan Ransom again. And that's halfway. Try and sustain that, that pace. When we've got 10 seconds left, we'll see if we can go a little quicker. Here we go, go. Three, two, one. Nice, 10 seconds of rest. And we're just gonna do one step ghosting. So we'll do it totally randomly. You pick your own corners, just one step from the tee. Here we go. Try and remember to swing. Use the follow through to help you get back to the middle. Make sure you don't take any ornaments off the shelves. Get all the valuables out of the way. Halfway, we've got about 15 seconds to go. Last five seconds. And rest. Jumping jacks, perfect. Nice easy one in five seconds again. Find the rhythm you're comfortable with and stick to it. Here we go. to see on the computer screen. Looks like I've got 20 people just waving at me. 20 possessed people just jumping around. Great work, 15 seconds left. Last 10 seconds, let's go a little quicker. Go crazy. Three, two, one, rest. Jumping jacks or star jumps, as I believe Chris Fuller calls them. Right, let's go nice and wide with your feet. You're gonna start doing lateral lunges and you're just gonna try and rock from side to side. Staying as low as you can. Try not to come up in the middle. Just transfer your weight from side to side. That back toe can come up as you shift sides. Next exercise is going to be sumo squats. So this will really get the hips moving. Again with this, form's important. So try and keep your, your back flat, squeeze your shoulder blades, try not to tip over. 
You want to be up, let me get the screen. Last five, two, one. Nice. Shake it off. Sumo squats are coming up. Let's see if we can go wide with your, with your toes and with your knees. Knees should track over your ankles. Here we go. Keep breathing. Next exercise, we're going to go down onto the floor in a high plank position. So it's almost like a push up, but you're really extending your arms out. And you're going to go from that high plank position to a normal plank on your elbows. So it's high plank to normal plank. So in five seconds, we're going to go down and rest. So don't start yet. You can just have a look at me. So we're going to be in this tall position, down low, back up again. Okay, in two, one, here we go. Nice and slowly. Try and keep that back nice and flat, bum not too tall. Try and keep the form, keep breathing. We're about halfway through this one. And rest. Nice work. Okay. That's one circuit there. We're going to do one more. This time through, we're going to make it ever so slightly shorter. So hopefully we can go slightly quicker, a little bit more intensity, and a little bit more rest. So that one, as I said, was 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This one, we're going to go 40, 20. Should feel like quite a big difference. But hopefully we can go a little quicker, a little faster, starting off with the high knee runs. In five, four, three, two, one, here we go. And rest. 20 seconds rest. I'm going to do the one step ghosting. All right, great work. One step from the tee. Pick your shots that you're hitting. Here we go. Halfway. Think about how you move differently on different shots. So when you play a drop shot, your lunge should be a little softer. If you're hitting it hard, you put a little bit more body weight into the floor. Rest. Okay, jumping jacks. Ten seconds. Get ready. Go a little quicker than last time through. Two, one, go. Twenty seconds left. Come on. 
last it out for the last 20. That rhythm. Last 10, nine, five, four, three, two, one. Lateral lunges. And we've sort of brushed into this one. Really try and exaggerate staying low. This should open up your hips. It should really test your range, range of movement. So go wide with your feet. Here we go. Drop down and then rock from one side to the other. Pick up that back toe if you need to. Really trying to sit back. Sit back into your into your butt and not leaning forwards. Great work. I can see a few people there. It looks like it's some really good range of motion there. Nice, Leslie. Last five, three, two, one, and rest. Shake it off. Sumo squats coming up in 20. And then we've just got the high to low plank and then we're done for that game. God, this is a tough third game. This is a tough third game. Okay, here we go with those sumo squats. Sumo squats, go. Now we've got the high to low plank. Something weird, I think, in, in my opinion or the way I look at it, when you when I break it down into games like this, there's something a bit more focused about it. You know, when it starts to hurt, if you picture yourself playing a match, that gives you that, that extra little bit of a push. I think if you just blast out circuits, sometimes it gets a bit mindless, whereas this is like, oh god, okay, this is this is only the third game, okay, rest. And only in the third game, I need to push here. This is like the time I played Phil Yarrow and I just kept chasing his backhand drop to the front. <laughs> right. Here we go. High plank to elbows in five seconds. This is the last one for this circuit, so let's really push hard. Here we go. <laughs> nice flat back at the bottom. Last 10 seconds, here we go guys. Great work, grit your teeth. Picture that winning shot you're about to hit on game ball. Don't stuff it in the tin. And the rest. Nice work. Quick drink. Great work. Game four. This will be a short game. Very short game. And it's one of those where you just need to push harder than your opponent does. So depending on how quickly you guys go through it, it should take anywhere from probably two minutes to you know three or four minutes. And there's no right or wrong for speed, just make sure the form's good. So I've coined it the, the Toledo Club 100, but for the purpose of this, we'll call it the Illinois Squash 100. So it's 100 reps of 10 different exercises, so 10 reps of each. And I'll talk you through it as we go. So it's squats, and I'll demo as I talk you through them. And you move on to the next exercise as soon as you've done 10. So don't worry about starting yet, just do your best to memorize as much as you can. So it'll be 10 squats. After you've done your 10 squats, we're going to do 10 squat jumps. I'm going to come forward so I don't bang my head on a fan. You're going to go down, jump up as high as you can. After that, it's going to be lunges. 10, so five each leg. 
10 lunge jumps, nice and high on those jumps. After the lunge jumps, you're gonna do push-ups, just your normal push-ups with those push-ups. If you struggle with push-ups, they are hard, do them on your knees, that's absolutely fine. After the push-ups, we're gonna do tuck jumps, where you're tucking, jumping, and tucking your knees into chest. Again, 10 reps. Mountain climbers, down on the floor, bringing those knees up, alternating legs. Again, 10 total, so it's five each leg. After the mountain climbers, you're gonna lie on your back, do 10 leg lowers. Now we're getting the core starting to engage now. 10 leg lowers. After the leg lowers, we've got high knee run. Like I said, don't worry about remembering them all. High suddenly run. High knee run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then burpees. Burpees is the tenth one, and that's the real killer. We're gonna forget all of that. You have to repeat it. <laughs> We're gonna go crazy. <laughs> I've already forgotten all of that, so I will definitely list it out to you. With the burpees, do them how you're comfortable. I've seen loads of different techniques for the burpees. I'll be trying to go down, chest to floor, up, jump. But if, if this is good enough for you, then no problem at all. Do it however, modify it however you like. So, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna do the squats. And then remember, it's the squat jumps, the lunge, the lunge jumps. And I'll talk you through as we go. Woo! All right, game four. As I said, this will be quick if you really push hard. You've got your opponent on the ropes. I'm gonna imagine I'm playing Barry. He's looking tired. He's probably had a croissant for breakfast. He's up against the ropes. And if I can just push hard and get his backhand flicked back, I'll take this fourth, fourth game and make it go to five. Right, here we go. Ready with the squats. Go, 10, one, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work. Lunges. One, two, coming up tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lunge jumps, trying to get nice and high. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. One, two, ten. After push ups, we've got tuck jumps. Here we go. Bring those knees into chest. One, Nice work, down, mountain climbers. Leg lowers. Three right up to the top. Nice work. After the leg load, we've got high knee runs. Here we go. One, two, five, six, seven, ten. That's it, right. Here we go. Burpees. Let's finish it strong. One, two, four. Great work, everyone. Keep going if you're still finishing up. 
Don't worry at all, you're doing great. Just keep going at your own pace, as fast as you can. I told you it would be quick, but it's hard. 10 times, exactly. Paul, you're selling the rest of the guys short. We're gonna do it 20 times today. Great work. And I'll send this to Emily so you guys can have a look back through. But even just that one little block of, that was probably two minutes 20, two minutes 30. You know, just doing that a couple of times at the end of a run would be great conditioning for, you know, for squash players. Right, grab a drink. We're gonna do a little core set. I'm gonna see if I've got any special guests that wanna come in and say hi. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> you want to unmute yourselves? Go for it Hi. while we're getting a little break. <laughs> <gasps> it's your friend Terry. No. Do you Hi, remember Terry. all these guys? They're all waving to you. Do you want to wave to them? Can you wave? Hi, Terry. Wave. Hey, he's gotten so big. Why don't you blow them a kiss? Beautiful. Oh, you <laughs> come back here. Harry's left the building. <laughs> Look, Harry, you can see them all here. Look, come here. Can see everyone? Look, Look all these different people. And Look, that's you there. Me. Look, can you see? Right, come on, you've got to wave for them. Hi, Logan. Wave. Oh, where's Logan? You wave? Blow, blow Harry a kiss. Look, there's Logan. Blow Harry a kiss. You going to wave to him? Good boy. Now can you blow <laughs> Yeah, are you, are you pointing at Emily and Barry? Can you say, can you blow them a kiss? Wee! Hey. Uh, Ellie. Uh, come on then, blow them a kiss. Yeah. Good boy. You can <laughs> say bye-bye. Where'd you go? Harry. Okay. Harry, let's just do one more thing. Can you come Daddy. here? Harry, come here. Quick, Daddy. look at this. Harry, come look at this. Of course he's not playing up to the audience. <laughs> Harry, come here. Daddy's too sweaty. It's not as fun. <laughs> Can you tell him what's your name? Harry. That's his name. Well done, Harry. That's Harry's version of his name, which he just learned the other day. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But you need to come and have your lunch now, don't you? That is going to finish making these people sweaty. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. That's really good, isn't it? Okay, come on then. Let's see what I'm going to for you. Right, say bye-bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Wait, bye-bye. Good boy, well done. Got it. Can you go out here, Grayson get a cool haircut? Yeah. Say hi. Say hi to Ellie. Say hi to Ellie, Billy. Hi, Logan. Hi, Ellie. Grayson. Hi, Grayson. I'll be there for a minute. That was the injury break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was game four. We've got one more, game five. So for all of you core lovers out there, you will eat this up easily. If you're like me and core's not too much fun, then this is gonna hurt a little bit. And you have got this. I know you can blast through this. You've got it. Right, so we've got five minutes. So I'm gonna start the clock. We're gonna go for five minutes with no rest. So we've got a circuit of one, two, three, four, five exercises. We're gonna go through it for five minutes solid. I think we'll get through it two and a half times if I have worked this out properly, but we'll see. Just keep pushing yourselves as much as you can, much as you can do. So the five exercises are, let me just move, I'm moving a little bit slower now than I was at the start. Right, the five exercises are single leg lowers. So we did this in the hundred, the double legs, we're gonna do single legs. So we're gonna go one, two, four, uh, where are we? 10, 10 single leg lowers, 10 double leg lowers, 10 scissors, so scissors, you lie it flat. I'm then going to pick up my upper body with my core. I'm going to take my right hand to my left toe. That's one. Every time you touch your toes, one. So I'm going to do 10 of those, alternating sides. 
Again, don't worry, I don't expect you to remember this. I'll remind you. 10 seconds of a side plank on the left, 10 seconds of a side plank on the right, and then we're gonna go back through it all again. So we're just gonna keep going through as many rounds as we can get through until five minutes is up. And I will, of course, give you updates on time so that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So first one, single leg lowers. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. So lie back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a tough start, 10. Now both legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. Okay, next one, I think, scissors. Okay, scissors, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side plank, let's start on the right. 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's once through. That was a minute 30. So we can try and get through a little over three. Right leg back. Single leg lowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, double leg. This is burning. Side plank. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Change sides. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's twice through. All right, here we go. Let's blast through this. Single leg lowers. Lie back, legs straight up. Grit your teeth and go. One, two, three, four. We're ten all in the fifth. Five, six. It's who wants it more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next. Double leg lowers. One, two, three, four, six, That's one. God, that kills. Scissors. This will be the last real killer. Come on. Here we go. Big push, everyone. Deep breath. 11, 10 down. Come on, what have you got left? Four, two, three, four, five, 
Five minutes and six seconds. Great work. Quick drink. I'm very much aware that it's Mother's Day. So that's an hour done. We're at one o'clock. If people, if people need to duck out and leave, I will not be offended. I've got maybe five or ten minutes of um, mobility stuff just to finish so a little stretch but if people need to, to leave and head out obviously by all means go ahead thanks Eddie it's Abhijit that I have to leave thank you of course good to see you Abhijit take care same here man take care is this thanks using... Emily thanks guys is this using your body weight stretching or is this like mobile stretching this will be a bit of both can we do the using your body weight part first? <laughs> yes. No, this won't be this this won't be particularly challenging. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Although famous last words, we'll see. There's a couple of yoga poses, a couple of hip hip things. Like I say, let's get started, and it'll be you know five five or ten minutes. Um, but should just be nice, quite a nice way to finish finish the Sunday workout. Right, first one. Is that bringing a record? So downward dog. I'm going to push back, and then here I'm just going to walk my calves out a little bit. We're just going to do twenty. One, two. And rest. Next one, so I'll face, face the camera for this. So one foot out in front in a half of sort of lunge position. This back knee can just stay on the floor. So if you need to grab a towel or a yoga mat or a cushion, go right ahead. And then from here, I'm just gonna try and rock forward. So I should feel a stretch in this back hip. If you wanna put your arms straight up, even better. We're just going to do 15, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you don't really feel it, take that front foot further out, further out in front. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, yeah, 14, 15, and rest. Yeah, you can do. I think Harry might be coming back in for some mobility. Two, three, four, five, six. Do you want to come and stretch? Eight, nine. Do you want to come and stretch? Come on, you come sit here and do it. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Are you sure? Fifteen. And what happened after that? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, is that the fan? Might need to turn that on, might I? Because it's getting warm in here. All right, same idea. This time I'm going to take my foot out to the side. Harry's going to be really confused here. So take my foot out and 90 degrees and I'm just going to rock side to side. Two. Do you want to do it? Come on, you can sit here. Three. You sit down then. And then can you do this with your leg? Seven. That's it. Seven. Yeah. One. Two. Yeah. Three. You're going to go in there. Four. Go in there. Five. Yeah, they're all there. They're still watching you. Okay, leg out to the side. Same on the other side. Two. Three. Four. They're all watching you. Five. Six. Can you see that up? Seven. Eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, good. Next one. I'll do just a standard glute stretch. Where have you gone? Right. Oh, do you want to come and help me? Right, come here. So, just a standard glute stretch. One leg straight out in front, the other leg across your chest and hug it in. Are right, you going to help me <laughs> hug it in? There you go. Sweaty. Is that a bit sweaty? Mm. Yeah, is it nice? Mm. No. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing my stretch. Why don't you sit down? Shall I show you how to do it? Mm. Okay, put that leg straight. I'm going to put that leg over here. Let that leg bend. Let me show you. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then can you put your hands in the air? No, your hands, not your feet, your hands. Put your arms in the air, that's it, both of them. There you go, you can do the no-handed Harry if you want. Okay, and then change sides. Good boy. This is good. Yeah, the people are watching you, aren't they? They're watching you do your stretches. Try and keep the upper body nice and tall. Keep the posture good through this stretch. Yeah, exactly, well you tell them if you want to tell them that. You can tell them? How do you tell them? Dig up. <laughs> Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go. I knew you were going to say that. Right. Lie, lie back, lie straight back. Harry, do you want to come and lie down next to me? Are you going to jump on me, are you? Right, so from here, I'm going to take my knee into chest. <laughs> this is multitasking at best. I'm going to straighten that leg. One, two, three, four. Is that comfortable? Five. Is it not sweaty? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> 14, last one, 15, and then change legs. Bring that knee up towards your chest and straighten. One, two, three. You should feel a nice stretch of this. Four, five, let's go. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. This must be so uncomfortable. 10, I'm so sweaty. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. Right, what's the last exercise? Can you remember? Hamstring kicks. Oh yeah, standing quad stretch, wasn't it? Is that what you said? Mm. Yeah, I thought you did. Okay. Yeah. You can get rid of your mats if you have one. So we're just gonna do, oh, have you got my headphone? Okay, I'm just gonna pick up your, your ankle and your hand, bring that heel to your butt. Hold for a few seconds, change sides. One, two, three, change sides. One, two, three, change sides. Yeah, they're my headphones, aren't they? My balance is terrible. One, two, three. One, two, three. They can all see you. One, two, three. Do you want to tell them anything? One, two, three. One, two, three. And rest. Right, we've got one more exercise. We got one more? Was it the squat? Can you do that? I wish I could pick you up for this one, it'd be too heavy. Look, can you do this? Can you do that? Right. So let me show you this first before you want to pick it up. Hold on, watch this. Oh yeah, I'll pick you up. So you're gonna go down into a squat. From here, I'm gonna take my right arm up towards the sky, left arm towards the sky, two arms up, and then stand up. Good boy, Harry. So let's do it again then if you're doing it. Right, down, down, one hand to the sky, two hands to the sky, stand up. Keep going, Harry, you got it? You got it? Down, one arm, two arms, and two arms. Here you go. Right, come on then. I'll try. Do you guys keep going? Let's have three more of those. I'll do a few squats with you. Ready? Down. Down, that's it, great work. Nice, Emma, nice, Mary. One arm, two arms, 
sorry, right arm, left arm, both arms and stand. And last one. <laughs> Done. Right, great work everyone. Let's come and sit down here and see everyone. Okay, come and sit. Sit here, look. You wanna come sit down and see everyone? Thanks, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. That was Thanks, awesome. Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. That was awesome. Guys, sorry we went a bit over an hour, but I that was good. wanted to get everything done. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Eddie. Great to see everyone. Cheers. Sorry. Hope, we cool. Thanks, Eddie. Bye. Yet, but hopefully, Thanks, Emily. Hopefully we can Thanks, everybody, for joining. Up. Happy Sunday. Happy Thanks. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. And just while everyone's still there, I just want to give a big shout out to Emily, who is doing a ridiculous job with this whole Illinois squash thing. I think she's just a force to be reckoned with and is just, yeah, so, so unbelievable. And you guys, you are go, so, Emily. as you know, you're all lucky to have her. So yeah, great work, Emily. Harry, can you clap for Emily? Aw, thanks you guys. It's so nice to see all your faces. And Eddie, I hope you come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind. All right, guys. Well, great to see everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you, Maria. See you, Eva. See you, Nicola. See you, everyone. Good boy. See you guys.